Hello everyone, my name is Catherine Edelweiss and I am a developer advocate at Bellsoft. For the second year in a row, we are thrilled to be part of KubeCon and Cloud Native Con North America. And we are excited to see you there. At Bellsoft, we provide the most complete Java experience and offer essential tools to help you run your Java workloads in the cloud with maximum efficiency, security and reliability. As a proud member of CNCF, we strongly believe in the power of open source and we actively contribute to the OpenJDK project. Our flagship product is Liberica JDK, which is a runtime recommended by Spring, used by industry leaders such as JetBrains and VMware and loved by millions of users worldwide. For cloud users, we have created a special flavor called Liberica JDK Lite. It comes with a few tweaks important for dense cloud deployments, such as better module compression and backports from newer JDK versions. And if you run Java in containers, Bellsoft offers lightweight base images featuring Liberica JDK Lite and Alpaquita, our Linux distribution for containers. Alpaquita is a fork of Alpine, but with some powerful modifications. We have added support for glibc, hardened the security, and optimized performance. We also offer an LTS version with optional support and SLA. And while Alpaquita is optimized for Java, it is versatile enough to support other programming languages, such as Python or C and C++. Come visit us at our booth. We'd love to talk to you about how Bellsoft can help you improve the security, streamline the deployment, and boost the performance of your cloud-native applications. See you soon at Salt Lake City! Hi, I'm Bob Quillen, CEO and co-founder of Control Theory. Let's start with a simple statement. Observability today is broken. This is not breaking news, and I think deep in your heart, you knew that already. Silo data, exploding complexity, vendor lock-in, soaring telemetry volumes, and what we hear about every day, out of control cost. Frankly, it's a mess. So why has observability lost its way? Well, let's start with the standard definition of observability, which is the measure of how well internal state of a system can be inferred from knowledge of its external outputs. This definition actually comes from Professor Rudolf Kalman, the father of modern control theory, and dates back to 1960 but it's only telling half the story. Professor Kalman continues on to the second half of the definition, which we all seem to have conveniently forgotten. In control theory, the observability and controllability of a system are mathematical duels. Controllability comes in the form of a feedback system or more simply, feedback loops. Okay, well, let's get back to the problems of today. In order to manage costs and optimize value, what if you could have both observability and controllability? using feedback loops and a control plane to control your observability system. So you can get what you need, exactly when you need it, delivered specifically for whom, balancing cost with value. In order to do this, you'll need three things. Open observability to start using open telemetry to open up your choices. Closed loop control via control plane with feedback loops managed by governance and compliance policies. To wrap it up, I'd like to invite you to please drop by and check out the Control Theory booth number Q50 at KubeCon. See a demo, talk to us, and learn how you can combine controllability with observability. Meanwhile, check us out at controltheory.com and see you there. I'm Matt Butcher co-founder and CEO of Fermion Technologies, where we're building the next wave of cloud computing powered by WebAssembly. Serverless functions are a compelling way of building cloud-native applications. However, you shouldn't have to choose one cloud provider or one programming language or one highly opinionated framework in order to take advantage of this serverless technology. That's why we at Fermion built Spin and SpinCube. Spin is a developer tool for building serverless applications. You can go from zero to deployed application in two minutes or less. You can pick your favorite programming language, whether that's a high-level language like JavaScript, a low-level language like Go or Rust, and thanks to Microsoft, we even support .NET now. 
Bring your own libraries, choose from Spin's built-in services like key value storage and relational database, and build the kind of application you want to build. When it's time to deploy, you have a wide variety of options, including, thanks to SpinCube, your Kubernetes cluster. Helm install SpinCube and instantly your Kubernetes cluster is transformed from just a container runtime to an environment that also supports WebAssembly. In fact, you can run serverless functions in the same pod as your existing containerized applications. That means you can continue to use the technologies you're comfortable with while at the same time exploring this new, compelling, and exciting serverless function world. SpinCube is incredibly high performance. Spin applications can cold start in under half a millisecond. They can scale from zero to hundreds of thousands nearly instantly. And users have reported that thanks to the density and the performance, they've been able to cut cluster size by 60%, actually removing nodes from their Kubernetes cluster. Spin and SpinCube are both fully open source. Both of them have been contributed to CNCF as candidate sandbox projects. And you can learn more about both of these exciting technologies at fermion.com. Yeah, so GitLab is the most comprehensive AI-powered DevSecOps platform for software development. Uh, we focus on enabling organizations to increase their developer productivity, uh, improve their efficiency, and of course, reduce security and risk issues uh, with the focus allowing them to deliver secure software faster. For us, we're finding ways to help companies be more cloud native. That can be through the functionality within our CI CD catalog and the ability to deploy to any cloud provider. Uh, it's about helping them document and maintain their code. But ultimately, the way I always talk to us about us at the event is that you know, we're cloud vendor agnostic. We have a really good uh, Kubernetes integration, we also support Terraform. And so we end up being the best way to put it, the highway into a cloud native environment. So we've been purpose built to help everyone who is part of delivering software be successful. Others in the space are focused on being a developer productivity tool. We think developers are very important, but you can make your developers more efficient, but if you don't make your ops teams, your security teams, your compliance teams more efficient as well, you're just creating a bottleneck later in your software delivery. And so GitLab is able to help with features like our value stream management. So you can see where those bottlenecks are in your team. Uh, the planning is right in there. So your product managers are working right next to their engineering manager counterparts. And of course, the security functionality is there where you can get roll-ups of the true health of the company uh, from a software supply chain and security standpoint. Uh, if you're actually going to be at the show, we're in booth H1. So please stop by the expo hall, ask questions. Our team loves talking about the product. I'm very excited to have us there at the event again this year and looking forward to talking to customers and, and others about everything that we're doing. Hi, Betty Janot here, CMO of Orogu, and I'm excited to see you all in Salt Lake City at KubeCon. Heroku is the application platform to help teams build, deploy, and scale apps securely and effortlessly in the cloud. Heroku pioneered the platform as a service category in the early 2000s, and since then we've helped companies of all sizes focus on what matters most, building the apps that run their business. Our platform provides a delightful developer experience and simplified operations experience, which has led to over 13 million apps being created on Heroku collectively serving over 60 billion requests a day. So what does Heroku do? What is a platform as a service? Well, we bring together the infrastructure services, the container services, orchestration, developer tools, DevOps tools, monitoring and metrics into one unified experience. Supporting commonly used languages and tools, we meet developers where they are in the contexts that are familiar to them, providing them a great experience to easily deploy and scale their apps, removing friction from their daily process. For the operators, we help alleviate the burden of building platform infrastructure, integrating the vast amount of tools, securing and lifecycle managing each one of those individual pieces to help scale the operations teams so they have more time to proactively do the things that improve the application experience and performance. 
We're excited to show you more about what Heroku can do, so stop by booth N11 for demos and fun swag, and don't miss our happy hour on Wednesday night.